Greetings, my lovely little frost pups. Welcome to a special video that I'm calling Art Talk. So, this is a concept I was decided to try out since I'm having too much of a hard time streaming my art. Instead of trying to stream it, I'll do videos of me drawing it and just talk about whatever I feel like talking about. For example, today we're talking about the idea itself, where it comes from. It comes from all these people that do speed paints and stuff. I really like the concept where they're just talking about news and what they want to talk about and doing just their art. And it always comes out really good. Which to be fair, I'm sure they only use their best works for it, but I'm my whole channel the whole point of my art journey is so you guys can follow along to it, so I will not only be doing my best work. And I will keep... This is also a good way to practice my just talking in general. There we go, that's better. Look, I know people say, oh, you shouldn't use a symmetry tool, but for why, my art purposes, at least currently, with my visual novel that I'm making, the visual novel I am making, everybody you'll see is pretty much from the front view. At least right now. So this allows me to get my characters as consistent as I can. <laughs> so this, the big reason I'm doing this type of video has a different face later is because I want to be able to share my art journey with you guys but I have been struggling greatly to get the confidence to stream my art because drawing in front of the people in front of a bunch of people is frankly for me at the very least terrifying. We just need to get rid of these side areas. Yeah, I understand the, the point of the symmetry tool. The overusing it can actually make you a worse artist. I do understand that. And I don't always use it. I just use it for the baseline stuff. Because if I always used it, I wouldn't be able to do any asymmetrical designs at all. But if there is a tool that I believe should be used for, well, if you need a symmetry, things to be actually symmetrical, like a person's face from the front, there's no reason not to use the tool that is for that. Exact express purpose, at least in my opinion. My opinion could be wrong. In fact, it probably is. I'm still a very new artist, so it wouldn't surprise me at all. <laughs> but at least I can admit that. That I'm new, and my opinions are liable to change. My art style is liable to change over time. But this is just my perspective on the way I do things right now.
and everybody's entitled to their own opinions. But yes, my, my purpose of my art right now is to make visual novels, and visual novels involve my characters more or less from the front, talking to the camera. But, I do want to have cha change that. I'd like to make animations for my visual novels someday. Not my first one, but in the future, I'd like to. Which means I'll need to be able to get whole, you know, whole people from all different angles. This isn't an art tutorial video, I don't claim to be a professional artist, I don't think myself as a professional artist, I am amateur at best of times. Decent-sized feet. Decent-sized legs. Okay. This is just kind of the process of, that I use right now. And it's also liable to change. I mean, I'm not a professional artist, as I keep learning and growing, so will my art. But this is my first year goals. And like, my first year, like, think about it this way. I've only been doing this for about 30 months now. Which really is not that long of a time to be doing art. And I feel like I've made really good progress. Especially considering I barely use references. I do use them, believe it or not, but I don't use them nearly as much as other artists do. And there's a reason behind that. Don't get me wrong, I know I'd get better faster if I use references. constantly using references, I won't be able to develop my own style. So when I use references, it's for whenever I want to try a new pose or backgrounds. I don't use them for front view all that much. I have a book for it specifically, a complete guide to drawing manga. It's a really great book and it's helped me improve a lot. Okay, for this particular girl here, She's just going to be one of the people you talk to in the background for my visual novel. Not a main character at all, so I don't need to go too detailed into her. But we'll have some fun with her all the same. Not at all. Not like a map. That's too big. 
bit better, but not quite what I'm looking for. That's closer. I go a lot off instinct for my character designs right now. I think that's okay. Mm. Yep, that works for now. This works for this character. Now let's work on the clothing. Now clothing I really need to work on still. I do not understand wrinkles very well and stuff like that. I am trying my best to get there, but it's a slow process the way I decided to go. Now I understand that I could be doing this better. I am self-aware enough to know that the way I am learning is not the most efficient way. But it is the only way I currently know, so that's what I'm going to stick with right now. still figuring out exactly what I want to do when it comes to my character designs and everything else. I know they're not perfect right now. They're getting better. I know I want bigger heads so I can have bigger, more expressive eyes. I want them to be cute. I do that on purpose. I want... The closest style I can think of that represents kind of how I'm trying to get to is probably Madoka Magica. It's something akin to that. Is that the perfect descriptor? Not really, but it's as close as I'm probably gonna get to what I actually want. I want to do simple done very well. That is that is my goal. At the end of the day. Okay. Now, I use this pen very specifically. I have tried using these other ones, but I'm not a fan of the inconsistent line variation that they give. I actually prefer a very consistent straight line for right, right now, anyway. I'll be bouncing back and forth between the layers here, so I don't know what I mean.
try and I try my best to draw as smooth as I can. I'm not always perfect about it. I said I do want to animate in some day. So I, for, when I, for my visual novels and openings and stuff, and I want to be able to draw something that can be drawn on models consistently. And why I say it's simple, but nice. I want to do simple at a professional level. That is my goal as an artist right now. Will I get there someday? I hope so, but... We shall see. <laughs> but with each attempt, I get a little bit closer to my goal. With each new character I design for my visual novel, I get just that little bit closer. I get a little bit better and a little bit more knowledge with each passing day. keeping myself smooth today. silence parts of this video this is still just a way to watch you so, so you guys can share in the art journey i will have more scripted subjects in the future this one's less on the scripted side and more just me sitting here doodling away
bonus points if in the comments section down below you can recognize the song I'm humming. <laughs> There's a line work done for. Now, I like for my skin tones, I tend to go with about an orangish hue, and I go down to very light. Anywhere there should be skin, I got skin. Pretty simple. Pretty self-explanatory for the way I do stuff right now. Now I knew there are better ways to do what I'm doing. Not a doubt in my mind. There is a better way to do what I do. But I want my process to be my process. okay with that in this instance. I like a thicker liner. It happens almost every time. Okay, as far as her outfit goes, she will have an extremely light pink top. There, there, and there. And a very, very light green dress. decided yet on this particular character what hair I'm going to use. I mean, she's not that important of a character, she's just a background character. Part of my gameplay loop is, involves talking to lots of background characters, which is why I'm drawing so many characters. It doesn't even have a name. In fact, if you want to give her a name, we'll give her a name in the comment section below. I'll give her a blonde. Make her a blonde. Mm 
is in low wind. That color or boots. Now for the fun part. This is how I've been getting that highlight for my hair. into the line anyway, making it thinner, which is why I say I'm okay with the thing thickening my line work. Oh, I'm not too sure about that smile I've given her. Might want to make that one a bit smaller, but eh. Yeah, that's easy enough. Let me do that real quick. I'm just going to cut that down to say about there. Yep, that's better. the highlights and the shading and we'll be done with this particular piece. Should be easy enough, so now we use this selector tool very specifically. This is also one of the reasons I draw such big eyes. She's got a hint of orange in her eye. this one. I got the wrong thing. This is called the gradient tool that, that I'm using, by the way. Now I can drag shading the way I like it to be into the thing. And we want to make it very a darker color, much darker for the top. Isn't really a tutorial piece per se, unless you're trying to draw the way I draw. Her eyes are a little too striking, honestly. But, that's okay. For so where she's going to be located story wise, it makes us prepared to be a bit unique. And you'll see why that is the case later. I won't be spoiling stuff. Now the way I do shading right now is kind of unique. What I do is I grab this tool, which allows me to draw out a selection area. Instead of doing a masking tool like other people do. When I draw out that, I go up to my gradient tool. I want a gray of some sort. 
I want it to go to about 49% or so opacity. Boom, there we got a shadow. And we just repeat the process. Everywhere that should have. this way but that it's very much likely to change in the future the only reason I do them this way is because you know, I'm still learning gotta remember that I'm a absolute beginner as an artist and pretty much everything I do is subject to change but And there you go. More or less a finished piece for me. If you liked this video, my lovely frost pups, do be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And don't forget to comment down for a ca this character's name down below. Farewell and have a lovely day and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. <laughs> Bye.